Week 10 of the fantasy football season. Here's a few defense DST units. I looked it off the wire this week. The first one, the Detroit Lions. So the Lions, in a tough matchup, many people thought it was going to be a Green Bay. They went in there and played a good ball game, no doubt about it. It was this Detroit Lion team. So the last few weeks, they've gone out there and put up some nice points. Week 7 at Minnesota, 23 points allowed, 4 sacks, an interception. Week 8 versus Tennessee, 14 points allowed, a sack, 2 interceptions, 2 fumble recoveries, a return touchdown. And week 9 at the pack is 14 points allowed. And a pick six in that one. So week 10, a decent matchup at Houston. I know Nico Collins most likely returning to the lineup. But this Lion team, they make teams one-dimensional. They get off to a big start. Is Detroit offensively. And you know what opposing teams are going to have to pass the football pretty much the majority of the football game. So right now, Detroit, they're all locked in, playing good football over the last month of the season, especially. And this week with a middle-of-the-pack matchup, I still think they're DST that help fantasy owners. And they're out there. In 53% of fantasy leagues. The next DST is the Atlanta Falcons. So the Falcons is a one-week streaming option, I think, to be a decent option for fantasy owners this week. So they had a decent ball game, I thought, versus the Dallas Cowboys. And this week, a good matchup at the Saints. that give up the fifth most fantasy points to defenses on the season. So week seven versus Seattle, 28 points allowed a sack. Week eight at Tampa, 24 points allowed with deceptions, a fumble recovery. And week set nine, First that was 21 points allowed in three sacks. So the problem has been sacks all season long for this Falcon team. Only eight sacks on the year. But in the Orleans, they've had trouble scoring the football and putting points on the board and winning games over the last seven weeks. So this week, a great matchup for Atlanta, like I said. Right now, they're playing good football, winning two in a row. And winning five out of six is this Atlanta Falcon team. And their defense has definitely improved. So right now, if you need a streaming option, they're out there. 91% of fantasy leagues. Next DST is the New York Giants. So the Giants is a one-week streaming option. Obviously a great matchup with the Carolina Panthers where they can't do much. And this Giant defense, they're amongst the league leaders in sacks. But they give up a lot of points and don't create turnovers. Week 7 versus the Eagles, 28 points allowed, 5 sacks. Week 8 of Pittsburgh, 26 points allowed, 4 sacks of fumble recovery. And Week 9 versus the Commanders, 27 points allowed, in that one and didn't record a sack or anything but week 10 like i said a great matchup for carolina we'll see if it's going to be bryce young in the lineup once again and i assume it's going to be they're two and seven they're actually coming off a win with bryce young in the lineup they traded away deontay johnson jonathan brooks possibly could return to the lineup as well this week so i think this new york giant team could go out there and be a decent option and they're available right now in tons of fantasy leagues 95 percent and the final defense dst i looked at it off the wall is the arizona cardinals so this cardinal dst they've actually played a little bit better over the last few weeks is arizona in terms of turnovers and making plays week seven versus the charges 15 points allowed three sacks two fumble recoveries week eight in miami i know they gave up 27 points had a sack and a safety in week nine versus the bears nine points allowed six sacks and a safety so they've been safety specialists over the last couple weeks is this Arizona DST available 97% of fantasy leagues. I know it's not a great matchup versus a pretty good New York Jet offense. Aaron Rodgers, Devontae Adams, Gabriel Wilson, Brees Hall. But turnovers definitely have been an issue this season for Aaron Rodgers. Something we obviously haven't seen throughout his NFL career. So right now, Arizona, more of a deeper league ad and thin options on the waiver wire for the defensive unit. So right now, Arizona is more of a deep sweeper and deep league ad. So that's a few defense DST units. I looked it off the wire for week 10 of the fantasy football season.